author, and I work for an international ELT publisher, and I've written a total of 25 books. I'm also a teacher trainer, and I train for international as well as domestic conferences uh, for both universities and colleges. And finally, I'm a TEDx speaker and a TED organizer. So I help set up, you know, um, TED clubs for various schools. So without further ado, let's start off with our presentation of our new series called Grasp English. OK, so the first question everyone is probably wondering and asking themselves, what is Grasp all about? Well, Grasp is an ELT course book and it has to do with seven levels from A1 all the way up to C1 plus, of course, based on the Common European Framework Standards or the CFR for short. This series is aimed at 10 to 17 year old students and one of the key features of this series is that a student can jump in at any level. What do we mean by this? Well, if a new student comes to register for B1 level, it's okay if he hasn't done the components for A1 or A2. As we'll see further down the presentation, this series is tailored to the needs of all students, okay, regardless of level. Now, let's move on. So, what are the key features of GRASP? You might be wondering, well, the topics are tailored to the age and levels of the students. What do we mean by this? It has to do with the age. It has to do, you know, with their preferences, everything that is modern and things that they're into. And we're going to see a lot of these things further down the presentation. Now, there is a respectful international content. The content in our new series is carefully examined and it could be used, you know, to teach mixed race classrooms and, you know, it, um, it is, you know, intended, it's aimed at a wider, you know, audience for, you know, all around the world. Now, there is a specific focus on skills enhancement. What do we mean by skills enhancement? Of course, we do stress, you know, place emphasis on things like grammar and vocabulary. However, we focus a lot on other skills like, you know, reading, speaking, listening, writing. Okay. Now, this is just a very small taste of what you're going to see in this series. Now, you do have, you know, social studies, you know, uh, content like family and friends, cooking, baking, inspiring kids to eat healthy. Of course, we're touching upon, you know, touchy subjects. I know we're going through a pandemic, but, you know, taking care of yourself is very important. Issues like health. And as you can see, the illustration. I'm sorry okay they're very eye-catching and the students will love them now other topics that are you know aimed at a more you know older audience as kids grow older we even touch upon things like mystery crime although combining it you know with a more humorous fashion now how does this series work our motto is assimilation made easy what do we mean by this there is a specific focus on the students. We are fully aware as educators that all students have, you know, different, you know, educational needs. Some kids are, you know, very, you know, much better at, you know, visual interpretation, others at reading, others at speaking. We cater our series, you know, to uh, assist our students in absorbing the knowledge that they require in any possible means. So, our series is adaptable and it incorporates different learning styles We'll see them as we go further down, you know, the presentation. And there is a huge stress on fluency. Unfortunately, there are many um, course books that, you know, don't stress that much on speaking skills and fluency. It's mostly grammar based and vocabulary based. However, what this series does, it integrates fluency with accuracy. Okay. Now, what kind of methodological approaches does this series use? Okay, first of all, this series is an inquiry-based learning series. What do we mean? We intrigue learners' curiosity. We present them with a topic, okay, a theme that they will start investing themselves in. We will have them discussing, you know, and having um, them develop their critical thought. Now, experience-based learning is something that we want them, you know, to um, use during this series. We want them to work on projects. We want them, you know, to develop the vocabulary, the grammar, everything that they've learned throughout each unit and then put it to good use through individual work or peer work. Content and language integrated learning or CLIL for short 
is something that is being used a lot in ELP course books, and we will explain it in much further detail as you know our presentation you know, moves along. I will, however, focus our attention right now on integration of the four major C skills. Now, Grasp English focuses its attention on the major C skills. If you're wondering what are the C skills, most of the people in the audience are probably aware of the C skills. However, I will briefly you know, touch upon this for those of you who don't. As you can see, the four C skills, creativity, critical thinking, communication, and collaboration. Our series focuses heavily on these four C skills. Of course, there are more C skills, but these are the four basic ones we're going to be talking about. Now, why are these skills important and why and how are they used in you know, our new series? Well, creativity promotes individual expression, a unique expression. When we're talking about the practical use of the language, we have to be creative when using it. It's not only about learning things by heart, okay? This series is not in favor of rote learning. Students will, of course, learn the meaning of a word, but the whole idea is to be creative and put the new word into good use. We want our